Hello everyone, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to discuss some interview scenario based interview question for network engineer. Recently, one of my paid students have received this question in interview. That's why I'm making this video. Actually, two of my paid students received same question in interview. Okay, so this video is going to be very helpful. And definitely, I'm damn sure if you will watch this video till the end, you will learn something new because uh, I am not going to uh, configure SSH or tailnet over here. We are going to learn different things about SSH and tailnet. Okay, so first question that interviewer can ask to you is see here this is my client machine and this is my server suppose here we need to enable ssh and telnet suppose we need to enable ssh so interviewer can ask you that can i enable ssh on this router or switches without running command crypto key generate rsa right crypto key generate RSA without running crypto key RSA command can I enable SSH or on routers and switches or not right and many people are saying no we cannot enable SSH without running command crypto key RSA so today in this video first thing that I am going to make you understand is I will show you how you can enable SSH without running command crypto key RSA because you know we will use some another feature who uh, which which uh, which protocol is using crypto key rsa suppose if i will enable uh, http service over here https service over here as you know https service also use hypertext transfer protocol secure also use crypto key mechanism right crypto key feature so if you will enable uh, SSH on this router then you don't need to configure you don't need to run crypto key generate RSA command to enable SSH okay so this is your first question second question is suppose some people have taken telnet or SSH access to this router suppose 10 people are 10 people have access of this router through SSH can I terminate the session from this router can it terminate the session from this router so yes answer of this question is also yes we can terminate the session from our server suppose i have a pc here and this server is connected through console cable okay through console cable so you have console of your server you can terminate the connection of telnet of ssh uh, on this server directly okay so there are multiple interview questions right we are going to understand in this topology okay questions are very easy so try to watch this video till the end let me configure first of all ip on both machine this is my client machine go to config t interface f0 slash 0 say no set and ip address is suppose 12.1.1.1 255.255.255.252 I have enabled, I have configured IP address on client machine. Let me configure IP on this server. Config T interface F0 slash 0, say no set. And IP address is 12.1.1. Suppose 2, 255.255.255.252. Do ping 12.1.1.1. Let me check connectivity. Yes. So you can see ping success rate is 100% fine now here i am going to enable telnet and ssh without running command crypto key generate rsa so line vty 0 to suppose 50 and transport input telnet as well as ssh okay this command will enable both on this router after that let's say password is 1 2 3 or say password is admin okay now we need to run login command so login local okay here we need to create username and password so user name is suppose again admin and password is also admin okay now we need to create one enable password over here so enable password again suppose password is admin fine now let me show you that this client machine are able to access the server or not telnet First of all, I am going to take telnet 12.1.1.2. So you can see username is admin and password is also admin. Okay, now you can see I have access of my server. Enable password is again admin. Okay, 
so fine let me terminate the session how we can terminate the session go to server and here you will run command so user so users so here you can see there are one user whose ip address is 12.1.1 uh, he have access through line vty zero line right so what i want to uh, do here i want to terminate this session from this server directly what i can do say clear line vty and this is this user is on line zero so let me say zero over here yes so once you will run this command here on you can see on the client machine connection to 12.2 closed by the foreign host okay so this is how we can terminate the connection okay now if you will run so user command over here so you can see there are only one user on console zero okay so if you want to clear this one as well line and console zero suppose console zero so here you can see not allowed to clear the current line because i am on i am using this line right so i cannot clear it from client machine i can do it right from client machine machine let me take ssh this time ssh and username is admin and ip address is 12.1.1.2 here you can see a connection diffused by remote host so telnet is not working uh, sorry ssh is not working i think ssh minus l 12.1.1.2 okay let me take telnet 12.1.1.2 username is admin password is also admin okay enable admin right and so user now i have i have access of my server so here you can see there are one user on console zero and one user on line vty so this time i am going to clear console zero right so clear line console zero say yes now you can see on the server console right i have not console right okay so if i will click enter again and again then again i will get console access but this is how you can terminate the session but now let me check that why i am not able to take ssh minus l name is admin and 12.1.1.2 okay here is minus l okay let me check config t line vty 0 to 15 and transport input ssh ssh okay and password is admin this command will enable okay enable ssh and i have already run this command but why i am not able to take ssh because here on the server i have not run crypto key generate rsa command and we are not allowed to run crypto key generate rsa command so here i need to enable any service who is using crypto key graphy so what i can do i can enable ip http secure server by running this command also you can take telnet okay because here you can see the log message fail to generate okay server will generate the temporary self assign certification what happen okay now if you will take ssh on the client machine this is my client machine and let me take ssh now you can see it's asking for password so password is admin okay you can see now i have access of my server so this is how you can enable ssh without running command crypto key rsa and this is one of the interview question interviewer can ask you that how to enable ssh without running command crypto key generate rsa okay let me run enable command over here and password is again admin and again if you will check so user so you can see there are one user on line vty 0 there are one user on line vty 1 so i want to clear all the line what i can do clear line and vty suppose 0 in the same way we need to clear the okay again i have to go on the server so let me take telnet access okay we can directly configure over here so users now 
there are one user on console port only so what i can do i can clear this line as well telnet 12.1.1.2 connection refused by the remote host so here actually i need to configure transport input telnet as well so what i can do line vty 0 to 15 and transport input telnet as well as transport input telnet and ssh okay now i can take telnet access of my server admin is username and password is also admin fine now you can see that i have access of my router and here you will run so user command okay no password is admin and here you, you will run so users command you can see there are one user on uh, line vty0 and one user on console so first of all i am going to clear line console 0 and then let me clear the telnet line vty0 line okay so clear line vty0 okay so what it's saying it's saying not allowed to clear the current line okay so what i can do i can clear it from here from the client machine i can clear it zero because now i have access i have taken access through telnet so that's why i am not able to do this okay so i can run this command on server clear line vty zero yes yes so here you can see connection terminated by the server by the foreign host okay guys so that's all for today these are interview questions so in interviewer can ask you this type of question in interview so make sure you have knowledge of these things that how to clear line console zero how to clear line vty right how to enable ssh without running command crypto key uh, generate rsa okay so if you like this video if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button guys if you haven't subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye